you're listening to the Love Tippets Podcast, where you'll discover a small, tasty, delightful, bite-sized tidbit of love. I'm your host, Leanne Austin. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Love Tippets, episode number 61, What is Possible? Do you remember being asked as a kid, what do you want to be or do or have when you grow up? I heard things such as, I want to fly to the moon. I want to be a star baseball player in the NBA or have millions of dollars. And then we get a little older and our dreams change. And we think we need to be a little more realistic. But what if there are some benefits of being unrealistic? When we set a goal, especially one that may seem very unrealistic, our brain likes to tell us why it's a bad idea and won't happen. Often we listen to our brain and scale back our goal to be more realistic. We do this with most of our goals and end up making very little progress on those big possibilities that we still want to achieve. Many times we won't even set the goal because we don't want to be uncomfortable or disappointed knowing that we won't follow through. But what if it was possible to achieve our unrealistic, impossible goals? When you think about a way out there possibility just a little bit differently, your brain doesn't try to scale back your goal. You're thinking that the goal is impossible and you will fail, and then your brain doesn't have anything to argue with. Your brain might tell you, if you know you're going to fail, why would you do it? Well, because the alternative is also failing. Most of us just fail ahead of time. We don't even start to move towards what's possible because we think it's too hard and we can't do it. And then when we aren't moving towards what is possible, we miss out on all the learning that happens when we mess something up and try it again. Failure is defined as a lack of success or the inability to meet an expectation. But I don't think we ever fail at anything unless we stop trying altogether. You're either succeeding at something or you're learning. So let's take failure off the table. Think about something you've done in your life that you thought was impossible. And then through a variety of quote fails, it became possible. Jeff mentioned to me 17 years ago, hey, why don't we go do a triathlon? I couldn't even swim the length of the pool at the time and we didn't have bikes. But there was a short little triathlon in our town, and we began training for it. I took swim lessons, we found some used bikes, and we did our first triathlon. Well, we were hooked. It was very hard. But we loved the challenge, and we wanted to get faster. And we kept training and doing more. We ended up preparing for and completing two half Ironman races which is a 1.2 mile swim, a 56 mile bike, and a half marathon, a 13 point mile run. Now, 20 years ago, I would never have thought that was even remotely possible, but it was. What is something you've been wanting to do, but keep putting it on the back burner? What do you really desire, but think it's too hard and would take up too much time? In my Love and Me program for April, we will explore what is possible. If you're ready to dive into what is possible in your life and start moving towards that, join my Love and Me program. 
Come be a part of amazing people who are strengthening their mental and emotional muscles. Join our loving community and discover what's happening in your beautiful brain. Improve your relationships with others and yourself and find out what is possible for you. The link's in the show notes and in my bio. We'd love to have you in love and me and journey together to where you want to be. I love the quote from Audrey Hepburn. Nothing is impossible. The word itself says, I'm possible. Hmm, something to think about. Have a good one, y'all. And here's to what is possible and love. If you're enjoying this podcast, please share and leave a review to help others hear tidbits of love. What would it feel like to finish your goals, enjoy your relationships, especially with your daughter-in-law, appreciate your body and embrace being you? Join my Love and Me program today and see yourself in a whole new way. You're already really good at loving others. I'll help you become an expert at loving you. More information at leannaustin.com.